With a fleet of over 1,200 vehicles, Karen Sider, president of Rinsenberger, found that converting their vehicles to propane gave them a quick payback. We are. We challenged our um, fleet manager as well as our CFO, who kind of oversees our fleet department, to find some ways to um, really help the environment, to focus on the green initiative, as well as look at ways to reduce costs. Um, one of the things that our customers are very focused on is cost and how do we continue to reduce our, our um, services to them, the cost of our services to them. So um, they looked at all kinds of options and really decided that propane had the best, the fastest payback for us um, and also was the safest fuel in their minds at that time. So we've rolled out 20 by fuel vehicles in the Kansas City area. Uh, so they run on both propane and regular gasoline. If the propane, if the propane tank has propane in it, they're operating on pro propane. If once that runs out, it switches over to gasoline. Uh, and that's a very seamless process. Drivers don't even know the difference. Uh, and then we have 10 100% propane vehicles operating in the LA Basin area out in California. Our plan is to roll out another 100 units for model year 13 um, and we're looking at doing 100 percent propane vehicles uh, some of which will have an extended tank on them so that they'll have further capacity. Part of the problem with propane is the infrastructure is just not there yet so we're having to figure out how to be able to fuel the vehicles when the driver gets out of his area. 